It's a game that really needs no setup at all. A sold-out Mosaic Stadium in Regina set to host a Labor Day weekend battle between the Riders and Bombers. Jake Dolagala's third career start. Overall, they won the toss. They wanted the ball, and they're about to oh. get a short kick. What a start! Lothar hops all over it. Trickle just outside the 40, and the Riders have it. What a way to start this Labor Day clash. First and 15, I'll back them up five. Winnipeg works from their own 49. Three options to the left for Kolaris. Looks that way. Throws down it, and it's intercepted. <laughs> Knew he'd Who do else? it. Of course. <laughs> Knew he'd do it. Nick Marshall <laughs> hauls it in. Riders defense steps up big early. First and 10 on the Winnipeg 46. Near side, completion to Jones. Right at the first down marker. Has hit 13 in a row. This one from 43 yards to put the Riders on the board. And he sneaks it through. Saskatchewan on top. Midway through the first quarter, Winnipeg trails by three. Brady Oliveira, pretty good job to stay on his feet here. Really nice work from Brady Oliveira. How is that for a first down? They had him behind the line of scrimmage in that game. So if you can control him, you got a chance. Big second and nine here at midfield. Kolaris in trouble, and he's gonna be thrown to the turf by Micah Johnson, his fourth sack of the season. Takes a sack off the board for DeMarcus Christmas. Back on the ground, Brady Oliveira, and he's got a first down and about an extra 12 along the way. And Brady Oliveira continues to be the bulk of the offense for Winnipeg. Olagala, pressure in his face, hammer down, Bombers defense answers, flag on the play, his helmet is off. Was he hit in the head as he was taken down by Ricky Walker? Yeah, was there extra after the fact? It looked like the hit initially was clean. Cameron Lawson in there as well, it was Walker and Lawson, 9 and 99. Ooh. We have major foul, unnecessary roughness, Winnipeg number 9. It's a 15-yard penalty, it's going to be an automatic first down. And it's the end of the quarter. It's the end of the quarter. Right there. Well, head-to-head -head contact leading with the... They, they called nine. In place of Nichols. Dola Gala. Pressure. Hit as he throws. Has a completion to Jones. And a ton of room. Tevin Jones up to the 40. Now to midfield. Finding some space. And he's still on his feet. How about that for yards after the catch? Tevin Jones, biggest play of the ball game. They'll do it again. Pipkin, can he finish it this time? Pushing straight ahead. Touchdown, Riders! Antonio Pipkin gets home, and the lead is nine. It's been the most dangerous offensively, over 31 yards per game, like Glenn mentioned which is the most for any Bombers team in the last 21 seasons. Kolaris keeps it on the run to his right, looking down the field. That's where he goes to Dembski. One hands it and holds it in. Spectacular stuff from Dembski. And the Bombers offense all of a sudden in high gear. Get one going, and then you stack on the next play. Gets it away just in time. On the run to his right again. Down the field. Tarski in thrilling fashion. Sigh of relief from Bombers fans. Dola Gala, second and seven. Far side. Drops that one in there just in time, and it's held on to by Emelis. His first catch of the game late here in the second quarter. Deeper earlier in this game. He's at 14 in a row now. 27 yarder from just inside the right hash. No mistake about it. Knocks it home, and the lead sits at six with 90 seconds left. First and ten. Big Hill's going to come right up the middle. Dola Gala oh. spins away. Now he's taken down. Stayed alive for an extra moment. But the Bombers were hungry and got there. Second and 13. Four options to the wide side left here for Dola Gala. In trouble. Taken down. Adam Big Hill with his second sack of the ball game. 
Break to the upfield shoulder. If you feel like you can get it, use your IQ cut underneath. Finally, some space for Morrow right up the middle for a first down inside the 25 before he's eventually taken down by Demario Houston. I'm on that ball. Lothar knocks another one through. 16 in a row, close to 32 per game. Kolaris looking for some of these points here. Escapes. Now he's going to send one way down the field for Dembski. Lays down, tries to get it, and he does. Nick Dembski inside the five. There's the big play to number 10. From the Saskatchewan three yard line. Prukov hands it off. Oliveira walks it in. Touchdown, Winnipeg. And they creep closer. Brady Oliveira finds the end zone. Fifth rushing touchdown of the year. Gala in trouble, stays on his feet, finds his running back. Jamal Morrow looking for space near side, and he's got a first down. Not exactly how they drew it up, but it works. From just inside the left hash on Labor Day for Lothar. That one is up, and it is good with room Money. to spare. Brett Lothar remains red hot. 17 straight field goals. Polaris on the run to his right, over the middle, drops it in there. Wide open is shown inside the 20. And a quick drive coming together for Winnipeg. Book of Steel, a chip shot here. Just shy of 93% so far this season. No problem. And we've got a two point Ball game, down three. Polaris over the middle, has a man at the 10. Staying on his feet, still going as shown, and eventually Larry Dean has enough. Polaris keeps it, gets it away, incomplete. Might have been deflected at the line, and that brings up third down. Polaris still after, down on one knee. Well, after the throw, I, it looked like a rider. It looked like what it might have been a linebacker who almost headbutted him. And now here's a late flag. After the play, we have a major foul. Unnecessary roughness. Saskatchewan number 45. We're going to go up half the distance. It's going to be first down for Winnipeg. So the flag has been thrown on this play. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's gonna get called every time. That's first and goal from the rider three. Brady Oliveira trying to find some face. Space pushing ahead and he will. He gets home, Brady Oliveira. Second one today. Parker will watch it bounce. And that one will trickle into the end zone. He will once again take a knee. Lothar hammers it through, and we are dead locked at 24 with 31 seconds on the clock. Riders and Bombers living up to the hype. Jake Dolagala looks for more here. Gets it away again. Tucks it into the attempt towards the end zone. Stopped just Shorts. Pipkin to put the Riders on top, pushing it ahead, and he's in. Touchdown, Saskatchewan. Second of the game for Antonio Pipkin, and they go on top by six. Looking to make it eight here. Dolagala waits, gets it away quickly. To the Comes an eight of their shot, Bay Jr. Two point conversion nailed. The lead is eight. Polaris to the field. Empty backfield. Zach down the field. Forrest got Butter, look into the end zone. Oh, got it. Are you kidding me? Kenny Lawler immediately strikes. And Winnipeg wastes no time at all. Can their defense come up with a memorable stop here? Polaris to 
keep this game alive. Looks to his left, throws to his right, deflected, and it's over! The Riders are going to win it! The defense gets the job done in overtime! And Saskatchewan wins a Labor Day battle with the Bombers! Jackson Ford, the grandson of Al Ford, comes on the blitz. Al Ford, a former star, Saskatchewan Rough Rider, and GM comes on the blitz off the edge for the two-point convert. Safety blitz, and Jackson Ford, homegrown, makes the play.